what is going on Tesla family welcome to the channel alright this highway. is Tesla DMV we are in uh, Crystal City Arlington Alexandria area alright so quick left here quick maneuver uh, we are looking at about a two to three minute drive Wow in 500 feet, the that was a pretty Crystal sharp drive. turn but it handled it Properly, this person behind now me is right on to Crystal Drive. Oh my god, I think it missed it. Let's see, I don't even know. We're, we're about to find out if that was it, then it did really bad there. Uh, I think it actually got it right. Okay, the Prius behind me, I don't think was too happy with those maneuvers, but he dealt with it. I think he's okay now. Um so we're looking at about a two minute drive here just pulling up to the location and uh just want to show you guys how fsd is handling some of the inner city traffic um so far so good i'm finding myself about 15 percent of the time taken over for like those special gray area cases which tend to happen be you know anytime you get behind the wheel <clears throat> doesn't matter what kind of car you're in matter of fact when you get behind the wheel the possibilities of things happening <clears throat> actually occur it doesn't matter if you're in an electric car or if you're in a gas car or if you're in a manual car or autonomous you know those possibilities exist and anyone buying FSD should realize that um, because it's not like a free-for-all you know at least not now who knows what you know 12 months from now brings maybe I'll eat my words but for now if you're a new beta tester and you're listening to this then make sure you're very vigilant on the road I'm gonna tell you guys a secret all right when it comes to auto steer I don't even trust my mom to use auto steer okay FYI, if I had to sit in a Tesla and my choice was auto steer or manual, best believe it's manual every time. I mean, unless I'm on a highway. That's the only time I may consider auto steer. But even then, I'm super vigilant um, because it's not like a single stack like FSD beta. So just FYI, anyone who uses auto steer uh, should know that, you know, if my mom were to drive my car, like I would tell her to drive it manually and uh, never to use auto steer. Not yet, I'm just not comfortable with her driving yet. We'll get there soon, hopefully, but I'm just not there yet. All right, so um, <clears throat> we're looking at a, and thank God for my mom too, so appreciate her. And we're looking at a one minute video here remaining and uh, let's see how we pull up to our destination good thing I didn't have to make a right because we're still pretty skeptical on the no turn on reds like it works 50 50 percent of the time look at this new speed limit In 500 sign feet, turn right okay so this is the final maneuver of the video here and of my uh drive and i really want to thank no you guys for right. riding with me today hope everyone watching this is having a wonderful day so like yeah like look let's say you worked at this office building and you're driving a tesla and you had fsd this is what it looks like when you pull up to this office building right there. So just in case you ever come back here right. um, in that same situation that I just mentioned, you know, I can almost guarantee you based on the miles driven and the data collected that your drive would look identical to what you just saw in this video. Oh, look at that. I just popped up and they have some free voltage charging right at the front. You know, I tend to notice that here with the uh, EVs. Um, we get VIP parking all of a sudden. That's cool. But 
this pretty awesome Mustang Mach-E has taken the spot. And that's cool because I'm at 94%. I don't even need it. So I'll just save Long the nice spots for drive. elder people. And uh, I like to park my car in the back. So thanks again for watching this video. And I hope you all have a great day.